One of the things that I observed when I came home from prison was there was a lot of the housing that was offered for people coming out of uh, recovery and incarceration, a lot of them were in really bad areas of town. So one of the good things that we offer is the transitional housing. Um, it's in a safe place, it's, you know, it's not in the city, it's, it's, in a, it's in a rural area. Right now we have uh, two places that we're renting, they're at full capacity. We have another place um, on, our, on our 25 acres that is a uh, double wide trailer that somebody donated. It's got four bedrooms and we've started moving guys in there and then um, of course the place, the building that we're in right now, um, it's a 5,000 square foot house and it's going to house, if we did single man rooms, it would house up to 10 men and uh, it's, it's going to be spirit filled. It's in a safe place and uh, you know from there we once we fill this house up, the goal is to house 100 men, and we're talking about different options of building on the land, but we, we do want to house up to 100 men, that is the big vision. We have uh, the electrical side, um, which we partner with. Uh, the electrical side, it offers job training and also job placement, where guys can uh, begin to get a trade and uh, you know we have commercial and residential so guys that possibly never had jobs held down jobs before it gives them an opportunity to get a job and just really stay busy and you know as they transition another ministry that we offer is conferences and our vision for the conference is first and foremost is to equip people to, to go out in the community and not just do church, but be the church. So we have teaching on identity. Um, we share testimonies and really that show you know, lives that have been radically changed. And then we're able to go out in the community, share these testimonies with others. You know, the Word says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the Word of our testimony. So we see a lot of people from those stories as a result of those stories. God's not a respecter of persons. So we, we use those stories to bring people into the kingdom. The conferences are also good for um, stirring up a church. Maybe they've gotten away from that. Maybe they've gotten away from outreach. And maybe they've gotten away from the community and it's really a push to get them back into the community. And at the same time, it sparks growth within the church because we're able to bring people back into the church that we've met out on the outreach. And um, you know introduce them to the Lord. It's a time to come together just with local churches and offer what we do, offer the ministry of recovery, offer the ministry of transition and helping, helping pastors out who maybe they don't, they have someone in their congregation and they know somebody who needs help coming out of recovery. So we offer that ministry to them and it's a way to not only equip the church and stir up the church, but also to partner with the church. Our whole focus behind all the ministry is that none would perish but all would come to repentance. It's just the kingdom, it's all about the kingdom. I really wanna see lives change. I wanna see lives transformed. I wanna see people step into their purpose. You know, and nothing, nothing, nothing is more important to me than that, to see people step into their kingdom calling. I'd say the most rewarding part of this job is just, just seeing people, you know, step into the fullness of what God's calling them into. You know, seeing people step into their destinies. Seeing people, um, you know, uh, some of the guys that I have picked up, you know, a year ago, and uh, just in deep darkness, to see them come out into the light, you know, translated into the kingdom of God's dear Son, into the light, from the darkness to the light, and just see them, uh, see God begin to restore marriages see God begin to restore finances, see God begin to fix credit, see God do medical miracles, you know, people getting their teeth fixed, people um, getting their children back, uh, and, and then ultimately just see people hungry for the things of God, you know, I, I would say is probably the most rewarding thing for me.